Ymir. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir god's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Krum near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Mir, what's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Mimir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. I wanted to ask you something about your blades. The ones from your homeland. What of them? Why don't you just throw them away? I see the way you look at them sometimes. Like you're... I don't know. Like you hate them. Even hateful things have their uses. Besides, I tried. They came back. Mimir, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with... Viscera. Oh. Now, there was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Uh. What is it, Mimir? That's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, uh, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Father, what was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you... not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. You know what? My face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah. On my jawline. See? It's growing. 
Is it? Well, that's not just dirt. It's not dirt. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. There's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heat witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, ah! Well, I try. It all tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Father, we build a lyre together. The instrument. Why? We hunt, we train. Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Oh, of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No. It's stupid. Never mind. Why do you yawn? Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. Hey, Mimir. Between me and Tyr, who'd ever guess I was the giant, huh? <laughs> Indeed, lad. Mimir, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. So you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. <laughs> Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes, but that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. Oh. Claire, when will I look like you? In what way? Like, figure. When do I get muscles like yours? When you work for them. But Baldur was really strong, and he didn't have any muscles. My strength does not come from my body. But both are honed by discipline. What's that mean? It means you've got the strength of a god no matter what, lad. But if you want the physique of one, you'd better start picking heavy things up and putting them back down. <sighs> Brother, in my travel, I heard of a great battle in your homeland at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You are there? No. Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years, but no longer. 
Did I ever tell the two of you how I made a small fortune in Asgard? <laughs> Once, Boulder arranged for every archer in the city to open fire on him. We took bets on how many arrows could be lodged in his body until the sheer weight of them made him fall down. Ha! That's awful. Oh, no, no. He was laughing the whole time. And mine was the closest guess. 446 arrows, exactly. That's horrible. You better not tell that story in front of Freya. Yes, lad, because I've suddenly taken leave of my senses. Just saying. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way.